The Democratic Party has its official, its first official candidate for the United States Senate seat that will be vacated next year by Rob Portman. Northeast Ohio Congressman Tim Ryan announcing today that he will run for that Senate seat. And he talked with our very own Colleen Marshall about the reasons why he put out this video, but he stopped by here at our studios to talk to you. Yeah, we were here this afternoon with the Congressman. He has served in Ohio's 13th district for 20 years, Darlene. And you just heard Brad mention the loss of a congressional seat because of population shifts. It was widely believed that his seat will be the one to be eliminated. Ryan part of the Rust Belt hard hit by a loss of manufacturing jobs. He says there are signs of renewed life in the region, a battery plant, the Lordstown hybrid truck plant, some new suppliers coming in. But when it comes to the overall economic health of Ohio and the nation, Ryan says we are at a crossroads. We're either going to make a decision as a country that we're going to invest into our workers, invest into our public infrastructure, work with business owners and cut workers in on the deal moving forward, or we're going to double down on the old economy that was really broken for workers. And that's, I think that's the urgency now. You sound quite a bit like another Democrat, Senator Sherrod Brown, who's had a lot of success statewide talking about the dignity of work. Well, we talk about the same issues. Sherrod and I have the same values, uh, and we have voted the same way and worked together on a lot of issues. The, the child tax credit, for example, that's in the uh, recent uh, rescue package. Ryan says 92% of Ohio families will get that $300 per child tax credit. He would not speculate on who he might face in the Democratic primary next year, but we do know on the Republican ticket, former party chair Jane Timken and former treasurer Josh Mandel are getting a lot of attention.